Kawa has been living single for over a decade, which in this society where um, relationships are constant among young people would seem like a big deal, right? But is it really? Let's ask her. CK, good morning. Good morning, Sim. How are you? I am very well. How are you? I'm fine on this lovely Friday morning, please. Well, I must tell you that you're rather beautiful into the 6.30, 6.45 here. Yeah, the um, and building does wonders. Uh, you know, you know what's interesting when we look at you, when I look at you, when people, when society yeah. looks at you, they would say yeah. that girl cannot be single. How can she, she be single? She's so I hot. Um, but you, you recently shared that you are and yes. you have been for over a decade. Um, first of all, tell me why you felt it important to share that. Okay. Um, well, let me go back to um, some of the things that have been happening with CK, um, moving on from music. I, in 2018, I got a big calling, I would say. It was weighing heavy on my heart to seek purpose, and not just my purpose, but what God had in store for me. So when I started music, actually, it was with the intention of sharing my story. Um, and I had one in particular, but I ended up sharing more um, with, the, with the world. So it was gathering an audience through music to therefore share my story. And in 2019, I shared my story for the first time regarding my bout with depression and suicide. And um, I aligned myself, or I got an opportunity with, with Safe Space um, to be their moderator to facilitate their sessions. And what that did for me is when I opened my mouth and shared my story for this first time is when I realized there are lots of wounds that have not been healed, mm -hmm. especially from love. And it moved from years of being, oh my God, where is, he? where is he? When is a person going to come? Why not this person too? So God, you showed me that um, there's a lot that I have to deal with self um, before I can actually love somebody. All the love that I want to give into somebody or pour into somebody right now, I need to pour into myself. And so since 2019, I think was my first intentional move to really be single because yeah. I needed to offer myself the time to heal. Yeah. Tell me about your... Um history of relationships, right? I mean, without mm -hmm. going into too much detail, because right, right, right. there is this notion that we fall in love and people complete us. But I hear you yeah. saying you're doing the self-work so that you're yeah. whole when you step into yeah. your next relationship. Um, yeah. So obviously, the relationships you've had have taught you. That's not true. Yeah. No, here's the thing. Um, you, you just spoke about love being where, you know, you need that person to complete you. And when I shared my story regarding being single, um, I said, have you ever loved somebody to the point where you love them more than yourself? And that was what my last relationship for me was. And when I came out of it, I mean, that was the last time I loved and loved wholeheartedly. And that's why when I said I shared my story for the first time, that's when I realized that that part of me that had loved so fearlessly, so boldly, so unapologetically was not there. She was mm -hmm. very guarded. She was protected. I protected her. And I think part of it, I blamed her for the hurt that I felt. But that was the sort of person and lover that I was. I loved beyond me. And that's why it was very important for me beyond that relationship or moving from that relationship to find myself, to seek myself, to discover who she is, what she likes and such. And um, that's where CK was born. And I guess that's why I wanted to also share my story regarding singleness because what happens is life happens or time flies when you're in pursuit of yourself, when you are discovering yourself, when you are healing, maybe when you're denying that you need you have some healing to do. And for me, it just happened to be over 10 years. Yeah. You know? But Tell it's to show say that... Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, no, it's just to show that really and truly you can move from... I read this book, this Ayan Lavanta book, I think it was In the Meantime. Yeah. Or um, The Value in the Valley. Yep. No, it was The Value in the Valley. My that mother gave that to. book. And it said, the first example of love is love to yourself. Yep. And see, I'm not going to lie. My my thing was, all right, Claire, hurry up and love yourself so that you can find somebody who will love you. And then it moved to, stop, I don't want somebody to love because as a giver in love, I am most likely to put you before myself. And I couldn't risk it, Sim. I couldn't risk not giving myself the attention I was, I was getting or I was giving myself. Yeah. CK was being born. Yeah. I was loving to sing. I was loving to perform. As finally, after 20 plus years, because you know your girl is young, right, 20 plus years, I finally was discovering myself and I couldn't risk 
like not focusing on that anymore and so i was fearful of love yeah but also so- but also ck mm-hmm. there is a there is a beauty and a peace in being at a place where you can be so great with your self oh, like I'm alone in. like you know some people are in relationships and they're so weighed down and it's heavy and because they're going through a lot and they're afraid of leaving because they don't want to be alone. Exactly. Not knowing that if or you step on the other home. side of that, you will be the happiest you can be. So you are, you're proving that now. Um, ten years later, how do you feel? Are you, do you feel like, you know, I'm at that place where now I'm whole enough to get back in the game? Or how do you oh, feel? I feel, I have never felt as liberated and as um, free or open to love as I am now. And ironically, it happened right after I shared the story. It was the hardest story to tell because you feel as if people are going to judge you. But I know that there are many ladies who are like me who um, were just focused on their careers or this and that and kind of push love to the back. Mm -hmm. But honestly, within their hearts, wanted something, wanted that commitment. But I'm here to say, listen, there is a freedom and a power that comes with owning your story, with sharing your testimony, but also putting it out there for God and the universe to actually give it you what you are trying to attract for yourself. Yeah. So I feel very open and I'm very much open to love as I once was again. Right. So no to situationships, which you've fallen yeah. into. Negative. Yeah. No more of those. And the situation no, no. thing is what you get into when you're settling, right? As a situationship. I, I, all right, let me, I mean, people have different purposes for their situationships. Some people are comfortable and don't like the idea of commitment and find that situationships work for them. But for my ladies or for my people who are actually committed persons, meaning you love a relationship, you, 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 um, you thrive in the concept and the framework of a relationship. It is our way of hiding and, um, not defending but protecting ourselves from actually the hurt and vulnerability that love can bring and that was what situationships were for me at the time it provided the satisfaction in companionship and other ways that i needed without me having to throw myself in but the harm that it brought me was me holding back the 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 love um and the the caring and compassionate mm-hmm. person i was because why are you going to give 100 percent to a situation that you know doesn't require it but Correct. it was more to me Correct. you know to hold back myself because you're a commitment girl. You want, yeah. the, you want the whole hog. You want the, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. Do. I still yeah. believe in it. You know, yeah. I still do in a culture where people are asking you not to and are yeah. saying that you should. Yes. You know, it's stupid. Yes. Because love is a lovely thing. It's just a lovely it's thing. It's the right person and in a healthy state for both you and that person. It is a lovely thing. Yes, girl. I got you. I got you. Um. I'm really, really happy that you chose to spoke out about this because there are a lot of women who are in your position and they need to know that it's, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It can get lonely, but it's okay. And if you find yourself first, then eventually you will find that right person for you. Agreed, 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 yeah. agreed. Thank you very much, CK, for Thank bearing you so your soul this morning. So nice Thank of you, you to do Thank that. You. And all the best in your journey. And when you find love, let us know. I know, okay. right? Okay. <laughs> Singer and model, Clara Kawa, CK, joining us this morning on Smile. And we have more when we come back from this break. Mm-hmm.